So this is town, of course, maybe the 150th time it's been on this channel, but it's never been on this channel in Cold War. Now has it? Yes, so that means I am back on the Cold War mod because, like I said, I'm going to be doing a lot of maps with this mod because it's a really good mod. And I really wanted to do Origins. I want to do the Origins Easter egg, but I just can't bring myself to do it right now. But I really want to do it, so maybe the next time I do this mod will be on Origins. So that wasn't very good ammo management for round one. I'm already out of ammo on my 1911, but that's alright. We have a knife, and zombies will blow up right in my fucking face. Now it'd be cool to see town in BO6 zombies, or it'd be cool to see like mod tools in BO6 zombies. But uh... I mean, let's be honest. Let's be fucking honest. I mean, essentially, for Activision, if it's something that the fan base wants, why would they give it to you? Um, everybody wants a Zombies Chronicles 2. That's never gonna fucking happen, let's be honest. But we did get a Pellington 703. My aim is dog wipe. I mean, seriously, I missed every single shot on this guy. Let's just 360 him instead. Almost got it. Whatever. For I can't hit the motherfucker. Thank you. Alright, so basically, Town is just a simple map because I'm obsessed with simple maps, but like I said, I want to go to Origins. I've been wanting to do the Origins Easter Egg again, and I want to have a reason to do it. So, I want to do it with this mod. Because when's the last time you did the Cold War Easter Egg? I meant the Origins Easter Egg in Cold War, son of a bitch. We got ourselves a nice little AK-74U, one of my favorite guns of all time. And, it's like an SMG with a rifle round, man. It's a, I don't know, there's something about this gun just is right. But the Black Ops 1 version was all like skinny and long looking. Look looked fucking weird. I do have a finance exam tomorrow, which isn't, which isn't ideal. And no, this is not your fucking high school finance class. This is financial management for my MBA. So it's not the easiest thing in the world. And I'm kind of worried about it. There's a That doesn't look right. Wow, where in the goddamn did you come from? Damn, that zombie just came out of nowhere, man. There was not a single zombie on this map, and I just got back swiped. Whatever the fuck that means. Nice little double points at the end of the round. We might be able to use that just in time. Just in time. We hope so. Oh yeah, that's pretty good timing. Wait for it just a little bit longer. The reason I haven't bought any perks yet is because I'm actually saving points for uh, to upgrade my sniper. Because, um, why wouldn't I? I want to upgrade my sniper because I like the weapon inspect and I want to use it for a thumbnail. No big deal. It's not like you really have to save points for anything on this map. Let's go ahead and upgrade my sniper, because we're with it's still have a lot of points though. Look at the camo, man. Can you believe that? Now we did kind of just waste points on upgrading this thing. But look, it's beautiful, man. This camo's great. I think I just wanted to get a thumbnail with this because it was unique. Um but outside of that. I guess we could start buying perks. It's only around 7, so it's not like it's getting difficult or anything. I guess what we can do is buy Thuggernog. Reach for Thuggernog tonight, baby! Thuggernog's a good perk. It's not bad. Keeps you... keeps you alive. 360. I didn't hit anything. Also, I really miss the map. I miss Buried, man. Some classic Buried. Also, the camo on this gun changes, I just noticed. Like, that's cool. It changes, I didn't know that. Now we get the worst gun in fucking Call of Duty Cold War. The KSP. Ew! I mean, have you seen a worse gun than this? Who used this in Cold War, actually? Who used this? Other than, like, for camo challenges? Like, what the fuck? LC-10. Now this LC-10 is going to give me some points. To be honest with you, like, I never really played Cold War that much. Like, 
actually, maybe I played it once. I may have played Cold War Zombies once. And like, I was never interested. I wasn't even interested. I was like, I mean, you gotta think, man. I was full-time college student and a full-time baseball college baseball player at that time. Like, we don't have time for that shit. <laughs> yes, believe it or not, I was kind of a dog in baseball, man. I actually, uh, I let it rip sometimes. I was better in college than I was in high school, but... Baseball's a shit, man. I'm gonna play in Japan at some point. I gotta find a team. Alright, so we got our four main perks. I guess we'll just start. Did I get that door open? I did. That's where a PhD flopper is, man. That's the cool thing about this town is there's a secret door back here with PhD. I'm here to fuck with that. Let's go hit the box real quick, cause uh, you know, boxation molestation. What is that? Some Chinese gun. Ew. I think this thing was actually really good in multiplayer. From I, I, I never played Cold War, but I did watch a bunch of video like YouTubers play Cold War back in the day. I'll get rid of the sniper. I don't need it anymore. Teddy bear, I knew it. I felt it. I didn't say it this time, but I did feel it. My sixth sense did did come in there. I just didn't verbalize it. Fire cell's a pretty good chance to get rid of my sniper. This QBZ is actually pretty good. As much as I hate to say it. Oh, look at that. We got a magnum. Probably not my weapon of choice, though. RPD is one of my weapons of choice, though. I like that. I'll fuck with an RPD. Don't think I need an M82, though. That's not going to do too much for me at this juncture of all junctures. I mean, seriously, what the fuck do I need an M82 right now for? Tombstone? Ew. I'm looking for mule dick around here. Where's that at? Wait, the box is back here. I, I thought it was up there. Sweet. We'll just hit it again, then. Cold War ray gun, I think? Yeah, because you can inspect it. I don't really need a Cold War ray gun, as cool as it is. The issue with having a ray gun is like I'm not sweating right now. Like I don't I'm not trying to like do an Easter egg or something, so I don't really need a wonder weapon. I think that's kind of OP. This this ray gun feels really good though. Oh, not as good as this is gonna feel. I mean the AR platform in any Call of Duty is always the sweat gun, right? What's in here for me? Grenades. And that's it, sweet. We're probably just gonna upgrade this M4. Because I think it's gonna be nice. It's gonna look cool as shit, too. Oh, we're in a spot. It's RPD time. Hell yeah. We'll get the death machine just because it's a custom death machine. Look at that shit. Oh my goodness, this thing's crazy. I like how I'll say the death machine is crazy as if it's not a fucking death machine. Like, isn't it supposed to, its job is to be crazy. Damn, look at this gun, man. Tap the mag, got a suppressor, got a red dot. Oh, the suppressor actually works too. That's cool. This thing sounds cool as shit. Listen to this thing. I love that. A few things about this Cold War mod that actually, like, need to happen to make it feel like Cold War. And I know this can happen because it's in the all-around enhancement mod, is we need score events. So it has like the zombies health above their head and then when you shoot them it shows the damage value next to them. That needs to be added. And then God forbid, a Cold War HUD, man. What? What are we doing? I guess I shouldn't say like, be rude about that. I mean, it is... I don't know anything about modding, so I mean... I'm not gonna sit here and act like it's fucking easy, so... But, let's be honest, you need score events, zombie health above their head, you need the Cold War HUD, you need a zombie counter. These are just things that need to be added into the mod, I believe. Get a nuclear bomb, I know I was gonna use the sniper as a... as a uh, thumbnail, but I kinda wanna use the RPD. I used this one as my last thumbnail. That kind of is... That's not right, man. Oh yeah, we got this ruinous pain distributor. 
I like that name. That's a pretty cool name. I bet I can let me come up with a name for the RPD real quick. RPD. How about like something like Russian patriotic Russian patriotic damn ah fuck you. How about radical pain? Ah fuck names, man. I know this one would be cool to I think this was in my thumbnail last time. Holy shit. Mini guns and shit in the box now, I'll take that. I know it's kinda repetitive at this point, but this mod instantly becomes 3.672856 times better with Cold War HUD, a zombie counter, and like the health above the zombie's head. Like I I, I gotta stop saying it, but the more I say it, maybe the mod creator will see this video and take some notes, or maybe he's working on it, we hope so. As much as I like the relativistic punishment device. M60, fuck yeah. The pig? Something about the M60, man. I fucking love the M60. In real life and in video games. Like, I just absolutely love it. It just is like... It's a definition. Like, a... Oh, shit. I guess the best way to put it would be like... That almost gave me a seizure. The best way to put it is if, like, if you asked me to show you a picture of power without, like, the the word, you know, definition, just a picture, I'd show you the M60. We're gonna make the M60 a lot more powerful when we put it in the Pack-A-Punch. I was, I shouldn't have said that gay shit, but let's take this out. Now we have Slow Burn, and then let's upgrade the Death Machine, too, why not? Okay, the name of this pa <laughs> the name of the p shit, man. The name of this gun, Satan. Which, to be fair, it's an insta kill, man. Well, I know what gun I'm using when I do the Origins Easter egg. But let's trust. Let's do the M60 business real quick. Oh yeah, this thing's nice. Oh yeah, the M60 is it, man. Always has been and always will be. I'm gonna die. I'm down. Holy shit, how did I just go down that fast? That was insane. That's thanks to uh, zombies exploding right in my fucking face. Actually, we're the only. We're gonna go get one perk now. Like, fuck all the other perks. Double tap all of it. Fuck all of it. We're gonna get Speed Cola, and that's it. If I go down again, I go down again, and that's game, and that's life. I mean, this gun is still one-shotting. The only reason I got speed cola is because, like, I have to give myself a chance. If I ever have to reload these two big-ass guns, I'm going to be screwed. See, this thing reloads fast with speed cola, and I can give myself a fighting chance. Not that I really need one with this badass gun. But the M60 with no double tap. Oh yeah, this thing just chugs along. And still just drops them like fucking flies. Like light to flies is a very good song by Trivium, by the way. Round 20, my last round anyways, might as well just... I'm gonna get double tap because I wanna get new guns. If I don't get a teddy bear, AK-47, that's cool. And, uh... Unupgraded, you gotta have double tap, right? We're not getting a fucking Pellington. Jesus Christ, this AK just look. Fuck, this thing's insane. And you gotta think, this thing's not upgraded. I'm dead. Well, this thing is upgraded, and it's an absolute. It's, I mean, Satan is a pretty good name for it. Let's pull out this gay K real quick, though. This thing's good. I like this thing. So nice to use. I'm dead. Look at the bullet spread on this motherfucker. That's called wasting ammo, man. You need dead shot with this. Get off me. Oh, that's round. And that's game. Let's hit the box one more time for, sh for shits and gigglies. I do know it's going to be a teddy bear, though. My sixth sense has kicked in. And there you go. That's how you end the video. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.